Hey y'all, these are zebra longwing caterpillars. Aren't they adorable? And they become Florida's state butterfly. And they'll look like these, which are zebra longwing butterflies. They are native to the extreme southern U.S. and down into Mexico, Central America, down to Peru. And they live here year-round. Pollen will clump up on their proboscis, and uh, the butterfly actually releases a digestive enzyme that breaks it down into a liquid that it can digest. And it has protein in it, so this butterfly lives considerably longer than your standard two to four weeks of most butterflies. They can live for several months, which is super cool. These are golf fritillary caterpillars. They have a similar spiky look to the zebra longwing and their color is obviously different. Those little spikes are not pokey. They're very smooth and soft. It does not hurt to hold or touch to these caterpillars. And as they molt and get larger and larger, eventually they do their final molt into a chrysalis form and then they become these beautiful butterflies. And the cool thing about them is the underside of their wing looks completely different than the top side of their wing. These butterflies, the Gulf fritillaries, they live in the southern U.S. and down into Mexico, Central America, and some of them even venture into South America. They're very easy, easy butterfly to lure to your garden. You just have to have the right plants, and they can be found in all 67 counties in Florida. And today I'm going to be showing you how I am designing a space in my garden just for them, the zebra longwings and the golf fritillaries. They share the same host plant, which is why they get to share the same space. So this right here in my garden is a crop cage. You can order them on Amazon. They're actually designed to keep crops protected that you're growing for sale. And um, last year, this was my butterfly haven. I raised a bunch of different caterpillars in here, but there were issues with that. And so now I'm doing something different. But as this was in my garden last year, you can see there is maypop passion vine growing up and over it and across the top of it and that is the host plant for the zebra longwings and the golf fritillaries which is why this entire area is going to be converted into a space just for them this side of the haven there's one strand of maypop you can see it going up so i've got two trellises i put in to provide support I'm going to plant some more of the Maypot Passion Vine along the base of the enclosure so then it can grow up the side and the trellises and just completely cover it. This side gets good sun, so it's a good side to get them started in. And how I'm going to do that is there's a border fence post here. So there's a little bit of space between here and the crop cage, and I'm going to fill that with some really good potting soil and then I'm going to go pluck up every little maypot passion vine I can find that's coming up in my garden and replant them along this section. So the host plant for the zebra longwing and the golf fritillary is passion vine, maypot passion vine or corky stem passion vine. The maypot passion vine you want the passiflora incarnata um, but there's also another passion vine that's not native, but is a hybrid of two natives. So it's considered Florida friendly. And it is the Maypop incense, which is what I have growing all over my garden. And it's fabulous. A host plant is the plant that the caterpillars need to consume to be able to complete their life cycle and become butterflies. Not every plant is a host plant. Specific butterflies need specific plants. So you want to make sure you have the host plant for the butterfly that you're trying to lure into your butterfly garden. 
the host plants are for the caterpillars, but you also want some nectar plants for the butterflies. This is an heirloom red pentas, and the golf fritillaries love them. The zebra longlings do also, but zebra longlings also like a tubular flower like this salvia coming up right here and this porterweed right here. Both of them also love Mexican sunflowers, and I see them frequently landing on these plants to enjoy the nectar. And this is a firebush that's currently not blooming, but it also produces tubular flowers. The zebra longwings love the firebush, as do hummingbirds. So to create a space that's gonna entice both of these butterflies to your garden, you want the host plants and the nectar plants host plants for the caterpillars and the host plants are where the female butterflies will lay their eggs and the nectar plants provide nutrition to the adult butterflies. So if you want golf fritillary butterflies and zebra longwing butterflies to visit your garden, get some passion vine and get it started growing. And stay tuned and subscribe to my channel to see how my butterfly haven progresses over time and to learn about other butterflies and their host plants and their favorite nectar plants. Let me know what your favorite butterfly is in the comments. And remember, tap the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.